Okay, so a few people have asked me about what uh, apps and things I use in my car for uh, uh, the home screen setup and the, the layout and the gestures and things in particular. So I just wanted to go over that. Um, I'm using Nova Launcher Prime. Uh, you can easily use Action Launcher or any other launcher of your preference that supports gestures. Uh, Nova Launcher is what I use on my phone, so by default I've got it on here as well because it's all, all paid for and um, just makes sense. No need to buy another one. Uh, so the way I've got it set up is a nice clean home screen, no additional home screens with widgets or anything. I prefer everything being nice and uh, nice and clean. So settings and then scroll down to gestures, gestures and inputs. And you can see my home button. I've set that to launch my music player, Gone Mad. So we'll get into that in a moment. But if you scroll down here, you can... You have various options. So recently Nova updated to support double tap and swipe up and swipe down. These weren't in there before, so those are new. Uh, you can pinch, you can rotate with two fingers clockwise and anti-clockwise and so on. So let's just go in there and go back to the home screen show how those work. So rotating counterclockwise launches Play Store. So everything's there. Uh, home button launches the music app. And then goes back to home. Uh, Navi loads, loads my uh, Waze, which is uh, quite cool. Um, the other little trick on this is if you're in Waze or if you're in your navigation app, pressing the nav button again cycles back to the previous app. So whether it's radio or music player, you can just easily swipe back and forth, which is pretty cool. Um, long pressing the mute button for a few seconds turns off the display only so a touch of any button or the screen will bring it back to life long pressing that turns it off so probably don't want to do that um, double tap launches the app drawer which is quite handy and um, yeah that's pretty much how I've got it set up and uh, everything works seamlessly you know it just means you can you can um, use your favorite apps and functions without having to muck around with the screen and icons and app drawers and so on. It just makes it look a bit more professional as well.